This is your daily dose of all things royal. Welcome back, my gorgeous, good-looking friends. Boy, social media has been on fire over the last 24 hours regarding Lady C's book, particularly around Chapter 8, in discussing the chain of events of January 14th, 2019. This was the day that Meghan and Harry visited Burkhead. Over the last five years, there have been so many stories regarding the odd behavior of Meghan's baby bump. And finally, Lady C puts it to rest. So what I want to do today in this video is actually take a look at the chain of events as described by Lady C so we can visually put to bed once and for all this whole entire scam. So this was the day that Meghan decided to dress like Harry's mom because she thought she was clever. But now it seems to be backfiring because not only does it accentuate and highlight exactly where the movement was with this belly bump, but it also shows just how far she was willing to go, not only to portray this false narrative, but also to show that she is like certifiably insane. Like Megan went overboard with the manipulation here, but now it's backfiring. So according to Lady C, this particular visit was going smoothly until the couple exited Birkenhead Town Hall. Now, what you're looking at here is Birkenhead Town Hall. And just to make sure that we have the right photos, I went ahead and referenced uh, the actual exit that they were coming out of, which was this door here. So we know that we have the right location and the right building in order to proceed forward in describing what exactly happened here in that moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this clip a few times as I read the paragraph describing what exactly happened in this moment. Lady C writes, it is immaterial at which point the bump apparently had had enough of lurking within Megan's abdominal cavity and a change of scene was called for, so took a dive between her knees. But what is material is that this apparent phenomenon happened in full view of the photographers. They were able to capture Megan exiting from the building en route to the waiting Range Rover, with the formerly prominent protuberance mysteriously displaced from the abdominal area and hovering around her knees. This extraordinary happening was featured by Getty Images, so there is no doubt that the photographs recorded something that actually happened. And since the photographs were not doctored or retouched in any way, their very existence invited questions. Without a doubt, Megan's bump did change in various positions and sizes. So Lady C is saying that This evidence that has been captured by Getty Images shows that the belly somehow went towards her knees. Unless there is another exit that Harry and Meghan used at Birkenhead Town Hall, I'm not seeing that here in this video because this is where the photos would have came from. I believe that the photos that are in question that came from Getty would be these photos in which, yes, it does look like the bump actually disappears. And even in this one photo here, which I've seen online, people pointing to the shadow as if this was Megan's bump. And for a while, I did think that possibly that was where the bump fell and that's right by her knees. But when you watch the video, you clearly see that there is no bump that goes to her knees because if it did go to her knees, she wouldn't have been able to walk. And as you see her walk closer to the Range Rover, you still see her hand under the bump. So it's nowhere by her knees. However, that's not to say that this belly didn't move because it actually did move. The bump indeed did drop. And I will pin for you the exact moment that it did. If you watch this clip again, Harry and Meghan are holding hands. Meghan decides to take her left hand off the bump, and within two steps, you see the stomach drop, and Meghan immediately releases Harry's hand to then to use her right hand to cross over her body, hiding the bump. And if you notice, she's walking a little bit funky. Watch it again. If you speed this clip up, you can actually see this bump drop. 
And if you haven't seen a drop from the Uber Fast, then let's slow it down and notice exactly when Megan removes her hand, you will see her stomach drop in that moment. She takes two steps after she removes her left hand from her belly, and you can see the bump shift. Once that happens, Megan recognizes that she needs to let go of Harry's hand and sort of distract by using her right hand to cross over her body to cover this bump that's dropped. And then also, notice how she walks. She does glitch for a quick second, and I'll show you that in a minute. Megan feels this bump slipping, and she tries to let go of Harry's hand, but he clutches back onto it. And this is where she glitches. You notice she like does a double blink and then releases Harry's hand. And you see right there, the bump does take a dip. Another thing that challenges the bump dropping to her knees is her getting into the car. Now, if you watch Megan get into this car, if she had a bump between her knees, she would not have been able to get into the car in the manner, the way that she did. I mean, if you had something down to your knees, you would essentially be waddling. You wouldn't be able to spread your legs so far to get into a car like that. Also, look how easy it was for her to get into the car and the bump mysteriously disappears. And you can see Harry is looking down. Not sure if he's looking down to put on a seatbelt, although we have yet to see them put on seatbelts. Even in this car, Megan doesn't put on a seatbelt. But you can see Harry... In the dark over there, his head is looking down. And Megan, she does a shift upward. So not sure if she's shifting herself upwards to fix the bump or what that was, but definitely what Megan was wearing was definitely moving. Now, for whatever reason, if you weren't seeing what I was seeing in the moment that the belly dropped, here is the freeze frame. So as you can see on the right, Megan's holding hands with Harry. This is right before she lets go. As you can see, her belly is up by her chest. Now, when she's not holding Harry's hand in the left picture, you can see that the bump took a dip. So now, after understanding this, when Harry and Meghan went on their third engagement of the day, which was at Tomorrow's Women World, TWW, which was this women's organization that helped women in vulnerable circumstances, you can see Harry look over at Megan's bump several times. And as you can see, he's definitely not happy with people taking photos because he gives this death stare. If indeed the photographers suspected something funky going on with Megan's bump, then it would explain why this videographer had focused intensely on Megan's stomach here in this segment. I mean, when you look at this, nothing about this looks normal. Look at how Megan's sitting with her legs crossed. She's sitting upright. And as you can see from the side view, she almost looks compacted as if her stomach was pushed up into her chest. This is the first time I'm actually digging into this Birkenhead debacle. And I get why people think that this woman wore a bump. I mean, look at these two photos. Like, what was going on here? On the right side, it looks like the beach ball is fully in form to have a pool party. And then on the left side, it looks like it's completely deflating. Which brings me now to this photo. This had been circling around for years, saying that Megan's bump dropped to her knees. I have to disagree with this theory because, again, if a bump had dropped right between your knees, you would not be able to walk. In fact, you would not be able to act normal and pretend like nothing happened because it would be such a significant movement that it would be unavoidable to hide it. Also, look at Harry. He's behind there. He's not paying attention to Megan. Yes, he's looking down, but it doesn't indicate that, yes, he knows that this bump has dropped. When you look at this photo, you clearly see where Megan's stomach is. There is a sort of protruding bump there. Also, look behind them. The brick wall is not where Birkenhead Town Hall is. This was, I think, the second stop that they made. So if we're going to go with what Lady C said, in which this belly drop happened when Megan and Harry exited Birkenhead Town Hall, then this photo would be disqualified because they are not exiting or leaving Birkenhead Town Hall here in this photo. Notice the background different background, then this photo would not be applicable. And what we are seeing here is possibly due to lighting as well as 
maybe wind or maybe Megan moving in a way that did shift the dress to make it look like it was creasing and that there was some type of object that felt her knees. So I'm not convinced that a belly dropped in this photo. I'm also not convinced that a belly dropped to the knees in leaving Birkenhead Town Hall. As you can see in these photos, yes, her belly did drop, but I don't see it anyway near her knees. You know, I'm really glad that Lady C had the courage and bravery to put this in her book because what it does now is that it brings it to the public to have a discussion. Six years ago, that was unthinkable because in 2019, Meghan and Harry had the palace backing them. And what I don't like about this whole entire thing is that the palace was responsible in suppressing a lot of people's opinions because they had this connection with the social media companies. I mean, it said it in Scobie's book that they were working with the executives at Facebook, most likely with Instagram and Twitter. So, you know, it's not just Harry and Meghan who were on board and taking away people's speech. The palace was complicit in doing this. So you couldn't dare talk about the legitimacy of Meghan's child in the line of succession or question the fact that this doesn't look like she is carrying this child and she's indeed wearing a prosthetic because we saw what happened. And I think that that also, too, needs to be raised as we talk about this, because you can't have an institution that says that they believe in the core fundamentals of democracy which includes freedom of speech when you're doing the exact opposite and talking out of both sides of your mouth if you are trying to silence or suppress anyone who challenged Meghan's so-called births. It doesn't help that you have Harry here in the United States equally trying to assert himself on American civil rights by also trying to suppress American constitutional speech. It's not a good look for the institution, even though we know that Harry is not officially carrying out any duties on behalf of the government here. The United States still regards him as a government official, as he is counselor of state. I keep saying this over and over. If these two continue with continuing with their censorship activities here in the United States, I promise you at some point there will be a class action. Americans will come together and go after Harry and the institution, regardless if Harry's over here not carrying out any duties on behalf of the crown. He's still tied to it legally. So this dude needs to tread lightly and leave us alone. Anyhow, what do you guys think is going to happen? I mean, if the palace comes forward and issues an announcement saying that, yes, Megan used a surrogate, how do you think that they will relay that message to the world? I personally think that they might come up with issuing a letters patent and all of a sudden changing the law just because it's the least path to resistance. We all know that Megan will throw out the racist card. Either way, it's not going to be good. The fallout is going to be bad. So I think the palace needs to just get it over with. Then let's move on. Personally, I don't think anything's going to happen to Megan. I believe Meghan has a lot of dirt on this family. As we have seen in Hollywood, the way that they operate is blackmail, blackmail, blackmail. Let me know if you agree. Definitely leave your thoughts. As always, I will be back with more content. But until then, please be safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Such a broad. <laughs>